Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel, Me Plus Three. So today we're gonna to be doing a Meet My Puppers video. So I have three dogs, if you haven't already seen from previous videos, and I figured it's time for everybody to get to know them. So we're gonna start off with this one right here. <laughs> As he flails and freaks out. Oh God, oh God. I'm sorry, buddy. He has a bit of a cold right now anyway. So he just, what are you doing? So this is Levi. He is our first dog that we have. He is currently seven years old. His birthday was actually January 3rd. So he's newly seven. Aren't you, buddy? Oh, he loves his ears being rubbed. Oh. So anyway, uh, he is a Shetland sheepdog, but everyone that I've talked to, I just call him a Sheltie. So uh, he's... I think he's a tricolor Merle or something like that. I don't really know. We liked him. We bought him. It's like that Ariana Grande song, you know. I liked it. I got it. <laughs> so, uh, we got him from a breeder in Saskatchewan, I believe. I think. Yeah. And she's she had like a whole bunch of Shelties. And like, my sister was actually going online because we had just recently lost our first dog that we ever had, Flash. He was also a Sheltie. Uh, we had just lost him, so, and Melissa and Dad needed a dog to fill the void. I didn't. I personally was like, eh, I, I need more time, but they needed a dog, so they, we ended up getting him, but they were looking through the photos online, and he has a, I don't know if you can tell in the video, he has a little blue eye on this side, and he was bred to be a show dog, and if he didn't have that blue eye, he would have been perfect, from what I've heard. I don't know, but he, his blue eye made him unsuitable. So we actually didn't pick him up till he was four months old, I think. Yeah. And she was like, oh, we have, the lady was like, oh, we have other dogs and stuff like that. We're like, I'm sorry, did we stutter? We want the one with the blue eye. So we ended up getting him. He was already named because they couldn't keep calling him dog. So we just decided to stick with Levi, which I have no regrets on because I love that name. And then two weeks of his life, I kind of basically treated him like Chip because I didn't like him and he tried to play with my, with Flash's toys and like he tried to sleep in Flash's spot and I was almost resentful towards him and I was like, I don't like you, you suck. And then one night I was having just a really bad night, you know, emotional, whatever, came in and he just looked at me with a little eyes and he's like, anything I can do to help? And yeah, after that he's my best friend, so this... I, I know people are like, oh, you can't have a favorite and all that. Yes, you can. This is my boog. This is my one row number row. But they all have like their days where they're number one. He's just like my number number one always. <laughs> He's my baby. Number one. Okay, moving on to the next dog. All right, go, 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 go. That's okay, come here. The next dog is Ahsoka. So she, we got her on December 14th a year ago. So we officially had her for a year. And we adopted her from the Petland and Red Deer, like their adoption center in there. We got her from there. And we, I remember we went in there and the first dog that we met did not get along with Levi. She actually nicked at him. So we were like, oh, okay, so you're, you, you, know, you guys aren't a good fit. So, and then Jason went in and the second dog he pulled out was what her name at the time was Taylor. And they'd only had her for two days. So she wasn't like attached to the name or anything like that. So we were like, perfect. So Jason pulled her out and we had her out in the little meet and greet area. And Levi and her didn't really show interest in each other. Like they just kind of walked around, did their own thing. We're like, okay, like. At least they're not attacking each other. She's just loving the head scratches right now. Um, so we're like, okay, at least they're not attacking each other. So that's good. And then I was, I was hesitant to get her just because I felt like she didn't, she almost, it almost felt like she didn't show any interest. Like she was too timid for me and that made me worried. And then I was like, okay, if she makes eye contact with me at least once, we'll take her home. No questions asked. Like, if she looks me in the eye, we'll take her home. 
not even kidding you, she was like this when she went, <laughs> and then looked back down to the ground. I'm like, oh shit, okay, we're taking her. So we ended up bringing her home, and she played the old dominant factor on Neva for the first little bit, you know, playing battling for Alpha or whatever. Basically, she wouldn't let him up on the couch, the bed, anywhere else. She was like, this is my area. <laughs> she she backed off after about a couple weeks, so. She's doing much better now, aren't you? You still get grumpy now and again, but you're still pretty good. Uh, we think she's three years old. We don't actually know her age, because again, she was bounced around so many kennels, like we don't really know what her age is. But she's perfect! And we think she's a mini German Shepherd. We, we did a DNA test, like one of those little doggy DNA tests, and it said she was a uh, German Shepherd, uh, Belgian Matoy, and Border Collie. Now, I I see the German Shepherd, and but I just, I, the other two I don't see personally. Like, now for the doggy DNA test thing, like, it... A lot of people say like, oh, I'm so excited for the result and all this and da 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 but with, we had a friend who also sent in their dog's DNA and it, it, they didn't send in the picture with theirs, we sent in pictures of ours so they could kind of see what a dog looked like and she didn't send in a picture of her dog and it came back, a, now she, she bought her dog, she knows what her dog is, like she, she bought it from a registered breeder, she knows. So for her to send in her DNA test and get something back, she's like, ah, this isn't true. So it's a little questionable what it is. So, but she's our little squishy baby. So she's number two on the on the track. She hasn't quite learned how to play fetch yet, but she loves to wrestle, so that's good. All right, you're done. Next, I gotta go next dog. Come <laughs> on. This is her spot though. The couch is her spot, so now she's like, screw you, I'm not moving. All right, you can stay there. Hi, peaches. Ooh, come here. All right. Oh God. Ooh. All right. And the last in the bunch is peaches, which is this little bubby right here. Hero. <laughs> she is our youngest baby. We just got her in July, right? Yes. Yes, you were. We picked her up when she was. We got her from the same place that we got Ahsoka, and. So they're both rescues and then Levi's, we purchased him from a puppy. And like with, with Peaches, I think she was the toughest dog to handle so far out of the three. <laughs> Cause like when we brought her home, she was only 11 months old and she kind of had a little bit of a, a uh, she wanted to rip everything apart. <laughs> She ate, a, she ate a hold of Narnia through my mattress and then she ate the foamy off our actual mattress and if we didn't have the foamy on there, she would have shredded that mattress. Uh, she ate a Lego box, she ate anything cardboard she eats, she ate through our DVD cases, like, <laughs> lucky she's cute. So three dogs was enough for us after her. She made us realize that three is enough. So, but yeah, no, we, uh, we think she might be like, Jack uh, Rat Terrier, Jack Russell, uh, something in those, along those lines. We have we thought she might be Corgi because of the ears, but nah, I think she's, I think she's in the Terrier family. But she might be Border Collie because of this little stripe right here. So, if you guys have any guesses on what you think these two are, put them in the just in the comment section down below. Because honestly, I'd love to hear some guesses. Like, we honestly have no idea. <laughs> We did doggy need DNA test on, oh God, oh God. What, you were shifting. We did a doggy DNA test on her too and it came back with, oh God, uh, Border Collie, uh, German Short Haired Pointer, uh, Dash Hound, and Australian Cattle Dog. So, she's, she's a true Heinz 57, this one. All right, I'll release you. Everyone always talks about like, you know, adopt, don't shop and, and all this stuff and you should rescue dogs and stuff like that. And I've, there's pros to each. Like 
with Levi, I, he's, I got to watch him grow. I got to, we, we got to grow up together. You know what I mean? Like it was, you got to see this little itty bitty nugget go from this clumsy little thing who couldn't walk on hardwood floors to trying to, to teaching him to jump up on the couch to now him doing tricks beyond belief like and then there's the pro of these girls like it's it's a similar process but it's just quicker like with ahsoka and peaches when we adopted them like ahsoka was this skinny scared shy little thing and she was like Every time she saw another dog, every time she saw another human, she would cry and run. Like she was, she was just constantly scared of everybody except for me and Jason. And after we've had her for a year now, one year later, and she actually knows how to cuddle us now. She before she would not cuddle you. Like she'd actually sit on the opposite side of the room. Like she did not care for you. And now she's like, I'll cuddle you. She, she tolerates me a little bit more, <laughs> but. She still loves me, don't you? Yes, you do. Oh, and she loves scratches now. Oh. Yes, babies. Mm, yes, you do. Anyway, so, but no, and then, so watching them, like, you get to watch, like, this scared little shelter dog turn into this, ha the happiest little babies ever. And honestly, I, after adopting, Ahsoka and Peaches, I don't think I will ever buy another dog just because I felt I felt happier knowing that we saved a dog from living in the shelter or being euthanized or anything like that. Like that made me happy. Like if down the road we decide to buy another dog, I'm not gonna complain. But it's I just don't I don't see it happening. I see us adopting all our future babies. My book Yes, you're gonna have all the brothers in the world. He's like, no, <laughs> no more. <laughs> but yeah, so that was our little family that we have here, our three little babies. And if you guys want to see more of these little gaffers, just let me know in the comment section down below. And we'll see you guys next time.